If you missed our latest Large Assembly webinar, we invite you to check it out at the link in the description. Here are some of the webinar's key moments. We have to design the entire product, right? So if we are designing a bike or a car, or something really, really large, and we need that virtual twin, um, how do we reduce that? Because, I mean, the data needs to be there, the, the, the models need to be there. One of the methods that we encourage our customers to use is to copy your SOLIDWORKS files onto your local drive before opening them. The, the hero of this situation is really the lightweight mode. And so lightweight mode will not only load that tessellation data, but also the geometry data as well. So SOLIDWORKS was able to diagnose the fact that there was going to be an issue with this sub-assembly, and it made the decision to load it as fully resolved so we would have visibility of that error. And that's where the Auto Repair Mates tool can help you. Again, this is new to 2023. Um, so if you have a list of broken mates in your main assembly, you can right-click on the mates folder and hit this button. This is the way you know, computing is going. Uh, uh, it's going to the cloud. This is 3D Experience Katia. I mean, it's pretty smooth, right? So it's, it's this large assembly, and this is uh, 2,000 components. So to see Scott be able to load in three of these motorcycles and rotate them around, zoom, you know, have full interact interaction with all of these data sets being fully loaded, uh, I'm, I'm like blown away by that. Um, what about another 12,000 parts? Bring a bunch of bikes, and I think I have another bike in this there. <laughs> Let's show that one. Too. See this and much more in our presentation on the latest solutions for managing super large assemblies. Link in the description.